Yeah, this is Black Light. The future history of uh, the Aboriginal melanated people of the, of the universe and the planet Earth and is us. We're talking about the so-called black man, the black man uh, here in America. We're in the testing grounds. Uh, we went to sleep. We hibernated, started hibernating long before we came over here in slave ships. Uh, our decline of mental greatness was during the uh, dynasties period. That wasn't our greatest uh, accomplishments, building the pyramids. For we were into uh, telecommunications and psychic abilities we had uh, we were going from universe going from universe to universe uh, planet to planet uh, we were we had put the sun and the moon of course you know the, the Caucasian ain't gonna tell you put that he don't want you to know how great you are, that you're a God. He not gonna tell you this. Uh, so at one point we start our mental uh, abilities went into hibernation. And the Caucasian took advantage of this. He may not have known he was taking advantage of it because uh, he doing things because he was programmed to do certain things and to learn from us. So he would, he learned from his father and his mother and he builds up, start building his world. After we totally put him on his feet, put him on his square and that's what Moses did. And he started learning science and other things from us while we were going into hibernation, fully into hibernation. And once we went fully into hibernation, we became very gullible to the suggestions of Satan. So once he conquered us, mentally and spiritually and physically we uh, well this is where you where, where the term brainwashing come in he brainwashed generations of us during slavery time over here in America we was like a test tube over here and you heard the Willie Lynch uh, papers. Some of y'all say they're not real. But that's what happened. That's what happened. Regardless if the papers was real or not. That's what happened. Y'all don't think he had enough sense to uh, have a mental capacity to brainwash us in other words, once you take away a man's name, religion, language, and everything, that's like erasing his mind. Uh, re relation, re 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 uh, erasing him mentally, you know, and then put, putting into, uh, programming into him how you want him to think, what you want him to know and who, what you want him to be like. So you want him to assimilate you so he won't give you no problem, you know. And if you think that he's your God, if the white man is your God, then you're definitely not gonna uh, go against God, his son, and the Holy Ghost.
anything related to that uh, type of. Uh, but the one thing about that, that the Bible, though, he tried to disfigure or rearrange the actual uh, intent of the Bible because it's a law book and he tried to put some loopholes in there and all of this uh, disfiguring the Bible uh, and all the Holy Scriptures had to be uh you know, reconcile with. So here comes Master Farad to straighten things out. So this was divine intervention. And ever since that happened, the white man had to scramble and work hard to maintain his control, mental control over us and so to make a long story short is to keep us from getting fully awoke he found a way to condition our minds to keep us in the dream world and he uses money he uses his woman, he uses, which is sex, you know, he uses uh, television, radio, computers, everything, you know, language, everything to keep you from waking up. Your own people against you, like what's happening now with uh, Sinetta and uh, said in polite he using them as a tool to keep keep confusing you so you won't wake up so this is the future history of the aboriginal melanated people continuing this is the hereafter black light